problem two on how to do trusses. I uh, hope you watch problem one because this one's going to go a lot quicker. Uh, let's do some labeling. And my computer does that. I don't know why. I think it hates me. That's all right. Get them on. Very strange how it picks the things it's going to erase and not use. Anyway, this is C, this is D. Now, last time I just started drawing things in, and I will again to some degree. This is F Y A, this is F X about A, this is F Y about C. And hopefully I can describe them a little better. Now, at each joint, we want to draw arrows away. And that's just saying everything's in tension. If you don't understand why things with arrows drawing away are tension, I'm with you. For the longest time, I couldn't understand how can this be in tension. Well, remember that each force has an equal and opposite force. So the... Beam feels like it's getting pulled from left to right. The pin feels like it's getting pulled in the opposite direction. Very challenging to keep all that straight. Uh, we'll go back and fix those when we have to. Uh, but let's just go. So all the moments have to equal zero about A. A is the only one that can take a moment because it's pinned. So negative 100 because it's generating a negative force. A negative moment, pardon me, um, times 4 plus 14 times FYC, which is creating a positive moment. S equals 0, so we find that FYC equals 28.6 pounds. I feel like I didn't write all this in earlier. It doesn't matter. And then sum of all the y's have to equal zero. So f y a, which is going up, so it's positive, minus 100, plus 28.6 equals zero. So f y at a equals 71.4 pounds. All the x's have to equal zero. There is no x's at all. Therefore, f of x a equals zero by definition. And that's really it. So then we go to point a. Why point a? Why not? It's a good spot to start. And we draw everything away. This is zero. Except for this one, which we know is pointed up. And we figured that one out as 71.4. And this is AB. We're considering it in tension right now. And this is AD. So some of all the Y's about A have to equal zero. So we're looking at 71.4 plus AB sine of 56.310. Therefore, AB equals negative 85.8. So we got the arrow wrong. Shocking. So we go back and we change it. Now it's 85.8. I got to change it up here. Never drew it. Disappointing, but also at the other end. And this is 85.8, and it's in compression. It's being, it's pushing on the joints, so it's compressed due to that force at the joints. Now we can find out AD, because all the sum of the forces of x of x in the a to at a has equal zero so we get zero because of that 
right force and then um, it'll be pushing left so it is a negative 85.8 uh, cosine uh, you know what I'd rather do this differently it's gonna put it at the end the uh, I forgot to put um, AD in there 0 plus AD plus negative 85.8 times cosine of 56.310 has to equal zero, therefore AD equals 47.6 pounds. Forgot to write in pounds. So again, we go up and we put that in. It's in tension because we didn't change anything. 47.6 tension. Now I'll do D right here on the fly. If that's 47.6, then this has to be equal and opposite. It's 47.6. If this is 100 down, then this has to be 100. And since the arrows didn't change, they're in tension. And now we can go over and do C. This, by the way, was A. So C, we have up to the right, pushing up from the bottom of 28.6 and pushing from the right note out uh, 47.6 C and this is BC sum all the Y's about about C equals zero. So 28.6 plus BC sine of 30.964. Go up and get that angle off of the original sketch. Equals zero. So that BC equals negative 55.5. Meaning that that beam is in Compression, not tension. I didn't mean to erase that, but I'm kind of glad I did. It looked horrible. And that's it. We're done. And you might say, well, what about uh, x? And I say, yeah, the sum around the x at c has to equal 0. So negative 47.6 plus 55.5 cosine of 30.964 equals zero and it better and it it does so check it make sure it does and that's it that's problem number two um i'm gonna go ahead and do problem number three save time i will talk a lot less and just blast through it hopefully relatively quickly Should jump up to the main screen at some point. No, disappointing. Uh, arrows going away. And Here we go. Now, sorry, go back up a little ways. We have a new moment this way. Negative, negative, reaction force positive. So we're going to have three in here now, which hopefully I don't forget. And distances are all up there. So the sum of the moments about A equals zero. We have negative 100 times 4, negative 25 times 6, and then f of cy times 14. And I hope my screen didn't just go dark for you guys. It did for me because it's on energy saver. So f of cy, I just want to write that there and save the space. 
So it's going to be extra calculations. F of CY equals 39.3 pounds. Sum of the Y's have to be equal to zero. Nothing's really changed here. F of AY minus 100 plus 39.3 pounds. Why am I suddenly writing in units when I haven't done it all day? Equals zero. F of A, Y equals uh, 60.7 pounds. Now, finally, some X's. Some of the X's equals zero. Well, F of A, X uh, plus 25 equals zero. So f of ax equals negative 25. You might say, whoa, 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 where'd the x's come from? Well, look at the top. Up here we have something finally. So we have to balance out all the x's in the drawing, just like we've been balancing out all the y's. So now we go back to points. At a, we have 25 this way now. Let's go fix my arrow up here. And we have, oops. No, that's right, what am I doing? Uh, a, B. Here we have 60.7. Here we have AD. This is point A. Sum of the Y's has to equal zero. So we get 60.7 plus AB sine of 56.31. Therefore, AB equals negative 73.0. Oops, it's in compression. I know you're shocked. This means I got to change all of these. And we just said it's 73.0 compression. Now the X's. Some of the, oh, I didn't write it about A, did I? Naughty. Some of the X's about A equals zero. I apologize for throwing my X's and A's. One time A, one time X. I'm lazy, what can I say? Negative 25 plus, uh, we got more. Um, AB is in a negative direction, negative 73.0 cosine of 56.310 plus AD equals zero. Therefore, AD equals 65.5 and it stays the same sign, so it's tension, 65.5 tension, which means this one's 65.5 tension, this one's 100 tension, and we get down to FCY, or point C, I should say. So here's point C, got that going on. Uh, away is 65.5. Up is 39.3, point C, and this is BC. Sum of the y's about c equals zero. So we get 39.3 plus bc sine of 30.964. Again, that is up above if you need it, equals zero. bc equals negative 76.4 pounds. And we're done. I'm not gonna do the x thing. You can check it if you want. And we're going to fix the arrow down here. 
So this arrow becomes the other way. Because it is in compression. 76.4 in compression. Erase my arrows. And go the other way. By the way, if you'd like to do the exercise, I recommend it. See if that balances. Check out the X's and the Y's, see if it all balances. It should. It should. That's it. Lots and lots of math for you here. Happy engineering.